Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Shellshock Live. I am A.B. Rhombus, a.k.a. Abnormal Rhombus, and I'm bringing you some more post-game commentary. Okay, so at the start of this game, it's looking like we've got the short end of the stick here. We are on ledges, at least me and KTM are on ledges. We can't really move anywhere. The slope is just too extreme. And they've got a hill, which is, which sucks, because they can move as much as they want. And you guys know about you guys know me. I love moving. Moving is really important. But we fire a cactus at the start of the game here. We don't get a good shot. We didn't get enough air under it. That was the first really bad cactus I fired in a while. But we didn't get enough air under it. But that's okay. As we look at it here, let's see what we've got. We've got a cat, which is good. Good damage dealer. We think we can hit. Who are we aiming at? It looks like Blue Babby. We're hoping to hit the ledge in front of him and get the 40 damage off on him. Hopefully we can we can uh, hit him here. We'll see. And it lands. Unfortunately, we get sniped. I didn't see by who. We'll have to look here in a minute. We get sniped. Turn two. That's super frustrating. Babby got us back by sniping us. So we're going to just try to move out of line of sight as much as we can. Unfortunately, that... That snipe really, really hurt us. I don't know if it was a luck snipe. I didn't see. Or if you really had a good accuracy on us, which, you know, it sucks. I think my team could have really used me here. But, you know, we do what we can to get as much damage off as possible in this game. We hit a, we hit Blue Babby with a Volt here, which is is good a good deal. I mean, we're doing more damage than they're doing, but that 100 damage is just it's devastating. You know, my goal at this point is to try to get somebody on their team as low as possible so that our, our teammates can take them take them out easily. So we're gonna hit them with a we're gonna try to hit them with a palm here. This I don't think is the best situation for palm, and no, it's not. You know the the area around him soaks up all the hits and he gets out scot free. You know nobody does damage that turn. Really? Wow. You know I. You know, really, really would like some help out of the teammates here. You know, me being low, we have to make every hit count. When you get sniped from halfway across the map, it, it sucks, quite frankly. And you guys have to take advantage. Everybody's got to take advantage of their... Of each turn, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. So that's frustrating. We're super low. But we do 50 damage with, I think it's called Surge. We get 50 damage off. It's about all we can do here. We're actually looking okay. They actually have two guys that are about they've taken good amount of damage. Let's just say that. They've taken a good amount of damage. We survive the back roller. We get a roller off. We're in pretty good shape at this point. I say that because they're Mexican Twix and Blue Babby are low. Blue ba or Mexican Twix is calling me out. Saying he's got me. So this is probably our last turn here. You know, it would really be nice to get Babby out on this turn. I think if we could get him out this turn, it'd be a one for one. And we are team would still be in good shape. Get some good damage off on him, but it's not enough. Had I landed a little bit shor shorter with the roller, Babby would have been taken out and it would have been a one for one. But unfortunately, it wasn't. So now my teammates are going to have to get through probably a turn or two of three weapons coming at them and them only getting two weapons out. It's just a mismatch at this point, but I would have to say that their focus should be on Babby. They have to get rid of Babby. And unfortunately, they, they're not, which frustrates me. They're aiming at the guy that has the most health. And that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. To me, it would make more sense of getting rid of more weapons being fired at you. You got Mexican Twix low, you got Blue Babby low, low yet you're aiming at opt Optistic up there. And it's just it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So it looks like KTM's firing a, a digger for whatever reason. Gets a good shot off, though. Going to get the maximum damage. Get a twinkler off on Optistic 2. But unfortunately, what's happening here is they're taking three weapons every single turn. Whether those weapons are hitting, it doesn't matter. You have to, you have to play the numbers game in this game. One of your teammates got sniped, taken out early. What happened in that situation? Their team, or at least two of the members on their team, were focusing me. They got me out. Now they're only taking two weapons. I guess I don't understand the switch again. They're switching to a different target again. 
instead of sticking with Optastic at this point. Optastic's low enough where had they dropped a grenade in that hole, had they dropped a, any kind of weapon into the hole that he was in, they would have done some major damage. Instead, they wasted it, a couple of their, their weapons, getting mediocre damage. But maybe they didn't have any weapons. Maybe they had to aim at Mexican Twix because of the limitation weapon-wise. So I'm not sure what that weapon is that KTM's firing. I can't remember what that is. I don't, I don't think I see that often. But that's okay. Oh, yeah, the fireworks. The beautiful fireworks. Does some damage to his teammate. 24, not a whole lot. Gets hit with a digger, though. Mexican is low. Blue Babby is low. Optastic is low. The way I see this game, there's no reason why we shouldn't win this. I mean, Twix should be out now. Blue Babby should be out next. And it should be a 2v1. But... I don't know. I don't know that that's how the game plays out. That's at least that's what I'm thinking. You know, bouncing between targets doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And unfor unfortunately for us, so it looks like KTM KTM fires an airstrike and a flower taken out Mexican Twix. I'm good with that. That's perfect. The game is is even at this point, right? We got Blue Babby down as low as we could before we got knocked out. They took out Mexican Twix. They got Optastic low. They got Blue Babby low. The game's even from my perspective. The game is even as we're looking at this. They just need to land shots at this point. So KTM's firing a Volt, which is an AOE weapon as long as you get it close. Just get it close and it'll do its job. And unfortunately, he cannot do that and pays the price for it. He's going to get hit with an airstrike. He's getting hit by his teammate's bounce explode. Oh, man. That sucks. Big time. Because Blue Babby could have been out of this game with that Volt that he fired. That is frustrating. I would rather overshoot in that turn than undershoot because you get a really good chance hitting Optastic. You undershoot it, it's going to roll down that hill, and you're not close to anybody. But nothing we could do about that. All right, so it looks like I think it's Mackerel with a 4. Fires a Horizon, taking Blue Babby out. And it is an even match at this point. Who's going to come out victorious? It's going to be Optistic. The Lone Ranger. Mom Spaghetti. Knees weak. Mom Spaghetti. Or is it going to be Mackerel? Firing the Hoverball. If you ask me, this isn't a very good angle for Hoverball. And he's going to get lit with a... What was that? Uh, counter 3000? One of the most, what a waste of a weapon, right? At least do a little bit more damage. 20 damage, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know what it becomes when you level it up, but I don't like it. And of course, the hover ball doesn't hit because it wasn't a good situation for hover ball. Now I'm going to go back on something I harp on game in and game out. Move, right? There's two scenarios here. You stay where you're at. Op Optistic has a good angle on you got a good shot on you he's hitting you with stuff you're taking damage every turn or move pick up the care package in front of you possibly gain some armor possibly gain gain a game-changing weapon but yet you sit in the same spot it just doesn't it doesn't make sense it's 35 seconds not enough time to aim and move yet as we watch he is still in the game He's still in the game. He is one good shot away from winning this game for his team. But what does he do? He stays in the same spot. And if he does move, he moves very little. Okay. So they got some good shots off on each other. They did some good damage, but they're both low. They're both low. And quite frankly, this should be end of game right here. Right? This should be end of game. But it's not. But it's not. So what does he do? He stick guys, I'm gonna harp on this because this this frustrates me, right? If I was in this situation, I'd be constantly moving. I'm not gonna let Optistic get an angle on me, get his shot on me. So I'd be moving up that hill. Because Optistic, he would, there, there's no angle on it because of the portal. But unfortunately he gets hit again, gets another opportunity, gets this the gets the I think splitter off, doesn't land a hit, somehow stays alive. And he finally decides to move, ladies and gentlemen. Finally decides to move. Had he moved earlier, he would have a barrier protecting him, a portal protecting him, and possibly picking up a care package if his tracks are high enough. 
I don't know what his level is. I don't know where his stats are allocated, but that's just how it is. I'm a little riled up. I'm a little antsy today, guys. Gets taken out by the earthquake. Will his one bounce land? It will not. And moving loses the, not moving, loses the game for us again. Not moving on my part because I simply couldn't because of the spawn and the teammate not moving because, quite frankly, I don't know why. But thanks for tuning in. You know I love you guys. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Let me know if you're liking the post commentary. If you would rather me commentate during the game instead, we can do that. But I found that there's a lot of pauses because I get really super try hard focused. So let me know if you guys like this video and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace.